testing. Is that, is that right? My name is Jessica and I'm from Mary and I'm a junior. My name is Tyler Welch and I'm a junior at Marion. My name is Tori Dunstan and I'm a junior at Marion. <laughs> Columbusing of black bodies by white people and making them uncomfortable. Wait, this wasn't taught in your history classes? Actually, skip the class and get a first world view of the darker girl sitting next to you. My brown skin is in for a moment. The color of my skin seems like it changes in popularity throughout the season. In the so summer. Brown skin, bronze and black skin is in. The way it has colorful depth alerts everyone. But, but in every, every other season, season. We are told to bleach our beauty so you accept our appearances. The media we uses our bodies as a blank canvas. They disregard our identities use us and discard us. To them our hair is nappy, to them we're all Keisha. To, to them our future relies on a welfare check. But to you, I don't sound ghetto enough? Not as dumb as you expected? Is it because I'm well presented? Or perhaps I'm too eloquent when I'm speaking? My vernacular will not be interchanged for yours when you're feeling gangster. And my cornrows won't be cool and hip when they're worn by you, but when they're worn by me, considered hood. I will wear my dress, my afro puffs, my twist outs, my bantu knots, and more because I can. And no, you will not police my hair and tell me I can't do certain things because frankly, I, I won't, won't compromise my culture along with my upbringing. I won't make them invisible for your comfort. You know, that discomfort you may feel is the same discomfort I feel when I look around most of my classes and see no one like me. I've been the only black girl in classrooms for so long. The questions have become white noise. Is that your real hair? Yes, and if you touch it without asking, I will get mad. Why, Why do you act white? Is acting white equated with intelligence? Can I not be black and intelligent? Hey, can you do that one dance? I'm here for your, I'm here to learn. I am not for your entertainment. What's it like past 72nd? I live in the ghetto, and I'm afraid to admit it. Can you blame me? I'm that same nice girl you met before you asked me where I live. Now I'm that black girl, but I keep my mouth shut. Is that insanity? What changed your point of view? And why do you, que why do you question the fields of the unknown? I don't go to bed hearing gunshots, but I definitely don't go around hearing Taylor Swift, listening to how the haters gonna hey, 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 isn't good enough. Yes, my blackness is what keeps me sane. It keeps me comfortable. But check this. Emmett Till wasn't comfortable when he was thrown in the Tallahatchie River. Trayvon Martin wasn't comfortable when he was shot with them blocks in his house. Sandra Bland wasn't comfortable in their jail cell she wasn't supposed to be in. Eric Garner wasn't comfortable in the chokehold that led to his death. Therefore, I refuse to compromise my culture to make you comfortable. Are you comfortable? Five seconds and show me numbers.